I'm green. I'm a major film geek. The middleman. And I'm a foreigner. And I'm a DJ. I am a friend. Yo soy Valparaíso. I pull a character as well. Un brother in them. And I'm Valvo. My name is Dion Robinson, also known as Jovito J. Baby of the number one Indiana college radio show. My name is Jenna Badinsky. I'm um, an English and secondary education major, and I'm from Elmhurst, Illinois. My name is Farhan Ahmed. Uh, my major is uh, biology with a minor in chemistry. My name is Jasmine Williams. I am a junior from Chicago, Illinois. My majors are TV, radio, and creative writing. My name is Chong Han Lee, but usually I... I uh, prefer a Danny because people cannot uh, speak my name. It's a Korean name and I'm from South Korea. And uh, my major is an international service major in Chinese. My name is Claire Flesch. I am a senior political public relations major from St. Louis, Missouri. My name is Wesley Strickland. I am a communications major. I'm from Naperville, Illinois. My name is Ana Arteta. I'm from Quito, Ecuador. I study digital media and I have a business minor. My name is uh, John Hutchinson. I'm a 1L here at uh, Valpo University. My name is Yan Ling Zhong. This is my official name and my English name is Blair. And then um, currently I'm a digital media student in here in, I mean, in graduate school. I'm Zach Huey. I'm a junior environmental science major. I'm from Hickory, North Carolina, and I'm green. And I'm a DJ. And I'm a foreigner. People refer to me as the middleman. I am a friend. I'm a traditionalist. And I'm a major film geek. Being a law student, uh, as you know, I've, I've had very many new experiences. Um, I made a friend who dropped out of law school, and that was pretty tough to go through. Um, being in Valpo itself, um, it's been a different experience because it's a small town, small community. I think. Um... An experience that changed me like that would be coming to study at the United States. You know, it's just a different uh, aspect, just being by yourself, and you know, because there's no one telling you like that you can go or you can't go to parties, and there's no one really telling you what to do. It's just all up to you and all you being responsible for your actions. So. And I think one of the first experiences I had that really made me who I am as a major film geek was Com 100. Uh, we just talked so much about the business in itself and the things that go into digital media and TV radio and all over again I think I fell in love with the, the art of digital media. When I started my basic pre-med classes I knew a few uh, general biology classes, chemistry classes and I think uh, after taking a couple of those I really found like I guess I found my place. I got to know a lot of the professors on campus, I got to know the students and it's like you had the same group of kids with you consistently so I like uh, I found my place in biology. I went to Australia last year and I studied sustainability and environmental action. So that was something that really changed my worldview and my views, especially just getting out of the country. I would have to say if I had a professor who's been a mentor to me so far, it would be my advisor, Professor Philip Powell. He's amazing. He'll tell you right up front, I may not know everything there is to know in the advancements, but I know the basics and I can teach you everything I know. Uh, one of the things I really uh, surprised when I just uh, sent the email to professor, he uh, like professor like right at, like just like two hours later sent me back or like they like one day later and then sent me back okay yeah I can meet you like someday in my office and then we can talk about or we can discuss about something you want to study or you have some problem for figure out and I can help you and I was just really shocked and then. This in, in Korea, General University, not gonna happen because professor always busy, and uh, professor always like kind of like we have to respect professors, like we have to uh, like respect uh, all people. So not even sending in a kind of impolite way to um, talking something, but here is always like hi, hello, and then even just uh, some professor to student like get them hug like wow. And I also have uh, my advisor that she's like a mom for me. So if I have any class problems, I'll go with her. But even if I'm like freaking out about anything in general, I'll just go there and she like will give me a big hug. Dr. Galepsi is actually, you know, someone that, you know, uh, she, she came from my church and uh, back at home. So it's nice to have somebody that, you know, 
that kind of knows you, you know, on the same spiritual level as you, and they're, you know, always looking out for you. And I think that's good. You know, you always got to have people in your corner, and I think I lucked out just coming here and having people already in my corner, you know. Uh, Dr. Brower is my English and education professor, and she's been really great um, because she's just helped me, you know, really realize what teaching is and how to, uh, you know, treat each student individually. Yeah, I actually had it with Holly and uh, Holly Singh, and uh, he's the director, I think, of this multicultural center. And um, I know I've known him since fifth grade. He used to tutor me in algebra when I was back then, and uh, then he started helping with my SATs, my ACTs, and. He's very pro Balbo since he graduated here, and so did his wife, and um, I guess he convinced me that I need to be part of Balbo, but it was a good thing that he brought me here. I still check in with him every week or two. He always emails me if I miss a class or something, he keeps an eye on me, so it's nice to have him there. I definitely have felt many different communities through Christ College and through even, you almost like have a mini community in each different class that you have. And when I got here I was a little bit scared those first couple weeks but I immediately found that this was a community here that I made friends really quickly, people that are very similar to me and people that are very different to me. But especially with the freshman dorms it's just a, it's a really good feel to have here where everyone has their door open you're just meeting tons of people right off the bat and it is a small enough campus that you can you see people you know every day. After I come here, I think people are really kind. Like American people, they're all really kind. And in here, people just um, get together. And they're not uh, like a welcome to us. Like they're, they're very kind, very polite. I guess when you come in here as a freshman, there's a huge chunk of kids when you come in to the Science Center, and then like I think by second semester it cuts down to the people who are really geared towards science after the prereqs are cleared out. And uh, I think you're, I've been with those kids since freshman year, and I'm a junior, and I have pretty much the same kids in nearly all my classes, so I like that. Uh, where I went to high school, it was a predominantly African-American based high school, and for me a lot of the things that my peers are into, I wasn't necessarily into. I'm not really a big fan of hip-hop music and Jordans. So when I came to Valpo, it was really refreshing to meet people that had similar interests with me, and I think that these are lifelong friends. Living so far away, this technically is my family for four months, um, or for both semesters of the year, because I can't go and hang out with my families or my friend back home. So um, I have my sisters. My sisters uh, will take me home with them for spring break or Easter break or Thanksgiving. Uh, so they are my second family. Coming in as a freshman, it was kind of a shock to me how little diversity there was. Being a black man on this campus is just that. You are an African American, you're a black male, you're whatever you define yourself as as far as that heritage goes. But I don't feel like I've been targeted in any way. I don't feel like um, I've been that token guy in any way. Um, I've worked hard for a lot of the things that I've gotten, and I have looked around several times and realized that I am uh, a minority in this institution. Um, I've sat in many classrooms and been the only African American in the class, but that doesn't speak to a lack of diversity because there's never been a time where I've been the only African American person in the class of all white people. I mean, I am a white female, so I... But it's interesting because I, like my whole life, I've always been a minority, actually, in my grade school and my high school. Um, it was always, like, predominantly African-American. And so, like, actually, honestly, deciding where I wanted to go to college, I was like, I don't want to go to any college because it's just going to be all white people. Valpo Law actually pulls a lot of students from many, many, many different states. So not just diversity in terms of race, race or ethnicity or anything like that, but diversity in terms of where people come from in the United States. In my school, uh, we don't have much like foreigner students over there, basically from local part, like in our city or our province. So they basically have, like have the same uh, cultural background and they have the like same education background. So 
we have a lot of common together. If there was more people from different backgrounds, people just will see them for their personality, not just where they're from. I do think Valpo has a lot of diversity. According to my background, um, my high school that I went, there was 3,000 students in my high school, and there was no black person, no international students. Um, so for me, coming here, it is very diverse. You know, I meet a lot of kids from like India and Pakistan, where I'm from, and I uh, and they're like international students from there. So I have that, and there's a lot of kids from Saudi Arabia that I know, and there's a lot of cultures here. Yeah, I, I'm a prime example of it. Right? <laughs> College, uh, you know, it's <laughs> a real life. Uh, I don't even know how to put that. College. How to define college, man? Um, I would define college as a place where you can go to explore your ideas about the world and also um, challenge your ideas. You know, college is kind of like that test before the test. And to define law school, it's uh, high pressure, high intensity, very chaotic. Um, you're wandering in the, blo in the dark, you know, like blind leading the blind. College is what you make it. I know that's a a huge cliche that people like to say, but it literally is what you make of it. Hi, my name is Zach and I'm Valpo. My name is Yi Jong Han. I'm a student at the University of Valpo. Hi, my name is Wes and I'm Valpo. My name is Ana Arteta and I'm Valparaiso. Farhan Ahmed, I am Valpo. I'm Valpo.